been four uh, decades of a long uh, journey, but now the Voyager 2 spacecraft has finally bid farewell to our solar system. In the vast, unrelenting void of space, silence is expected. It's natural. But when Voyager 2, one of the most iconic space probes ever launched, went dark for a period last year, Scientists assumed it was just a temporary glitch in the 46-year-old spacecraft's ancient systems. After all, Voyager 2 had been defying expectations since 1977. What's a few weeks of silence? But what if it wasn't silence? What if Voyager 2 was trying to send us something, something so strange, so outside the realm of known science, that we simply couldn't interpret it at first? August 2025. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers working the Deep Space Network notice a flicker, an unusual data pattern in the supposedly inactive Voyager 2 transmission line. The signal was weak, almost camouflaged in cosmic background radiation. At first, it was dismissed. But one junior astrophysicist, Dr. Alina Mayer, insisted on running it through a spectral rebalancer. What she found made her freeze. The signal wasn't just random noise. It had structure, rhythmic patterns, non-random intervals, encoded binary sequences, exactly the kind of signature we'd expect from a deliberate communication. Dr. Mayer's findings immediately escalated the signal to NASA's high-priority anomaly team. Within 48 hours, the signal had been decrypted, not fully, but enough to realize this wasn't just the probe broadcasting its usual status reports. In the data, included a segment that Voyager 2 was never programmed to send. Among familiar telemetry lines like radiation counts and cosmic ray data, there were new clusters of values, unknown markers. The energy signatures didn't align with anything Voyager 2 was capable of measuring, and one line repeated itself again and again in the code, as if trying to be noticed. Dash XTS 998 TRN Void, a code that doesn't appear in any Voyager documentation. NASA remained silent. No press releases, no announcements, just internal chatter and mounting concern. Why? Because what followed next was even more shocking. The signal abruptly stopped, as though Voyager 2 had been forcibly silenced, almost as if something else had taken control. When Voyager 2's signal returned two weeks later, the space science community expected it to be a routine correction. Perhaps the spacecraft auto-adjusted itself or realigned with Earth. But what came through wasn't routine. It was history-shattering. Multiple decoding labs, including an independent European research facility in Austria, confirmed that the latest data packet contained compressed image files how? Voyager 2 isn't supposed to send images anymore. It's millions of kilometers beyond the solar system. Its camera systems were deactivated decades ago. But these were images, somehow. The files were grainy, distorted, and corrupted, but partially reconstructable. Using AI-assisted enhancement, the teams managed to produce three decipherable stills. The first image, showed what appeared to be an irregular structure, something massive floating just beyond the heliopause, the outermost boundary of the solar system. It wasn't a natural formation. Its angles were geometric, its lines precise. The second image? Even more disturbing. It showed Voyager 2 itself, captured from an external perspective, as though someone or something had photographed it but Voyager 2 has no other spacecraft nearby. So who, or what, took the photo? And the third image was perhaps the most chilling of all. It depicted a glowing arc-shaped anomaly, pulsing with light, a shape not previously recorded anywhere in astronomical archives. Around it were distortions that hinted at gravitational warping, like a lens bending light unnaturally. Some suggested it might be a ripple in space-time. Others whispered the words no one dared say out loud. Portal.
NASA convened a closed-door session. Attendees included not just space scientists, but military advisors, intelligence agencies, and representatives from international observatories. Theories exploded. Some believe the probe had encountered a naturally occurring wormhole. Others thought it might be evidence of a non-human intelligence monitoring the edge of our solar system. But here's where things went from mysterious to terrifying. Dr. Elena Meyer ran a frequency analysis of the transmission. Embedded deep within the binary code, layered like an encryption, was a repeating pulse, five tones, spaced precisely. Almost identical to the Arecibo message humanity sent into deep space in 1974, a message intended to announce our presence to intelligent civilizations. Only this time, the signal wasn't going out. It was coming in. And it wasn't us who sent it. The moment the Arecibo-style pulse was confirmed to be an incoming signal, not an echo or bounce back, NASA's stance shifted from cautious interest to high alert. They now believed that Voyager 2 had not just stumbled upon an anomaly, it had made contact. Teams scrambled to analyze the full transmission. A portion of it, when interpreted through linguistics-based machine models, resembled symbolic language patterns, not human, but clearly deliberate. One section translated roughly to boundary crossed, contact achieved, return not permitted. The statement sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. Return not permitted? Was it a warning? A rule? Or something far more sinister, like the probe had passed into a region of space governed by an intelligence that had its own set of laws? NASA refused to go public, but leaks were inevitable. A whistleblower released a redacted image from the data, an eerie depiction of what looked like a lattice-like structure stretching across space, like a web or net. A barrier, perhaps? Or a construct? And then came the biggest shock of all. Two of Earth's ground-based telescopes, Chilean Atacama Observatory and Japan's Subaru Telescope, reported brief optical disturbances near the outer edge of the solar system. A flicker, a ripple, something blinked. And Voyager 2? Gone. Not destroyed, not shut off, but moved. Its signal is still active, but its coordinates place it millions of kilometers from where it should be, as if it had been relocated. By who? And for what purpose? Here's what we know now. Voyager 2 sent back a signal that was likely not of human origin. The probe may have encountered a structure or intelligence at the boundary of our solar system. It transmitted images and messages far beyond its designed capability. And finally, it appears to have been taken or redirected by forces unknown. The final encrypted message received from Voyager 2 came just before its relocation. Transmission complete. Awaiting response. Do not follow. This single line has haunted every scientist who's read it. Do not follow? Are we being warned to stay away from the edge of our solar system? Is something or someone watching us from the void? And if so, how long have they been waiting? The Voyager program was always about curiosity, exploration, and pushing the boundaries of what we knew. But with this new development, it's clear those boundaries have pushed back. Something is out there. Something that noticed Voyager 2. Something that noticed us. And now, after 46 years of silence, it has spoken. The world may never be the same again.